Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jade and I make videos about dolls, obviously. And today's video is gonna be a little review on Skultimate Secrets Draculaura um, Wave 1 since it is confirmed that we're getting multiple waves, which is so cool. I love this line. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to finally have another doll from this line. You may remember I already got Claudine back there a few weeks ago um but yeah i've been like slowly collecting this line they've been slowly coming out the distribution has been a little funky but um it's fine because i finally have my two favorites and that's all that matters um so yeah i got claudine back there from indigo and draculaura i pre-ordered on amazon back in like end of december and it's now mid-March and she just now finally got here. So it's been almost like three months. Um, but despite that, I'm so excited to finally have her and I really just wanna like tear open this box. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so just taking a look at her box, like I don't even wanna fully call this a box, but you get it. Um, of course she's in like the plastic trunk that like all the Skultimate Secret Schools are in. Which is very very cute in theory. But for people like me who want to collect all these dolls, that's just like... What, like five of these plastic, like... These are decently big too, like these like big plastic things that you're kind of just stuck with. And that's just wave one. Wave two is gonna be another five dolls, so that's 10. Plus there's rumors of a wave three, which is assumably another five dolls. So that's like 15 of these things. And I know like I've seen, I've already seen some people like selling them, but like, that's just so many that like are gonna be a thing that you have to either sell or donate. And I don't know, it's just kind of inconvenient as cute as it is. But yeah so with that aside looking at it of course it is in the shape of a coffin which is so cute and it's basically and it's basically just this like plastic container with this like cardboard and soft plastic like shell over it that's like the best way to put it um and on the front we have this gorgeous beautiful amazing artwork by darko dark i have claudine's on my wall this will probably be going there as well because it's so so pretty in the middle we have the skultimate secrets logo which is also just like a very cool logo i love that 19 plus surprises okay lol surprise um just some little doodles of some of the stuff you get and then it says doll posable doll inside if you couldn't tell because there's no window which i kind of hate because you can't see the faces but whatever it's fine the design on it is like super cool like it almost this almost looks like metal like i don't know i can't explain it but that's so cool and there's like a better look at her beautiful artwork okay so let's move on to the back and before i forget there's her barcode <laughs> You can use this to go harass your local employees um, at like your local like Walmarts and Targets and stuff. Don't actually harass them, but you get it. <laughs> and then the back of the box is pretty simple. It's mostly just like legal info. But at the top, we do have the artwork of the other ghouls. So we have Frankie, Cleo, Claudine, and Laguna. And then just a picture of like the key feature, monsterhigh.com, which is not active right now, I don't believe, but hopefully soon. Oh, I don't know if I showed this. Her, she does have, of course, have her iconic, like stylized font for her name, which is very cute. And 125 plus looks, which, yeah, like maybe if like you count like one earring per, like, you know, like, I don't get it, but whatever. And then another look at like the color reveal key which i will not be doing the keys in this video i did them in my claudine video so if you want to see them check them out there but it, it's just like a lot and it's like very unnecessary you can use any key to open any door so it does not really you don't even need the key so it really does not matter so yeah 
with that out of the way we're gonna go get miss lala out of the box and we will be right back okay and then after you take the little cover off you're greeted with this little door which is just like a cobweb pattern with the monster high logo very cute so let's take a look at draculaura there she is she's very cute i've already taken a look at her she has an amazing face um so yeah let's just take a look at her box before we get her out so of course we have like all like the little doodles all around but then up here, she does have this little picture of her, Claudine, and Frankie that says best booze forever. Very cute. And then up here it says vamp life. Um, a little heart with a monster high skelet. Her stylized font um, name. And then her this or that is pretzels or brain puffs. And she likes pretzels. Um, photography or paintings, I'm guessing. Um, she prefers paintings, obviously. And then her eye coffin or witchcraft, both. And then boba, I think, or energy drink. She prefers boba, very cute. A monster high logo right there. And then that, I believe, that looks like her and Claude, right? That's so cute. Her and Torlai, which is funny to me because so far in the show, they're looking like they don't like each other, but whatever. Count Fabulous, so cute. And then it just has her birthday, which of course is February 14th, Valentine's Day, which I love that they kept for this generation. And then we have Draculaura here, still tied into her box. But before we actually take her out, I wanna take a look at like her personalized instructions. Cause if you watched my Claudine review, you know Claudine had them too. Unless I cut that out of the video, I can't remember. So yeah, this is just like a fun thing to look at. So there's that. And then back here. I don't know, I like them because they could very easily just be basic black and white instructions with like generic pictures on them, but they're actually stylized for each character. And my favorite little Easter egg is that they're done in the G1 art style, which is so cute and just like a perfect little Easter egg, you know? Okay, so we're gonna actually go like snip her out and I'll be right back again. <laughs> and I just wanna take a quick look at her background. It looks like a vanity in like a drama class or something. It's so cute. Okay, and Miss Draculaura is out of the box. So let's start by taking a look at her before we get her extra stuff out. Okay, so starting head to toe like I normally do, here is her darling little face, and she has such pretty makeup. It's just like a purple on her eyelid with a darker purple, it looks like, actually like on like the proper eyelid, and some pink underneath, and she has the same screening as like all her other dolls, but it's fine, whatever. And then just her little black heart on her cheek, so cute. And then she has this like bright, like hot pink lipstick, which is way different from her core doll, which is her only other G3 doll I have. So this is such a fun, like new look for her. Speaking of fun new looks, this hair is amazing. So it is like basically the same style as her core doll, but instead of being split dyed, it's mostly pink with the back being black going all the way up into like her like whole front like part. It is so sick, I'm obsessed. <laughs> and her first top that she comes in is just this simple little tank top with a square neckline and it has some white stitching around the edges. And then it just kind of has this, I don't even know what you'd call this, but just this little pattern that's like the diamonds but then also has like the hearts around it. Very cute. And then just these two little pink bows. This one's a lighter pink, this one being a slightly little darker pink. Very cute. And of course she has the classic G3 chest articulation. And then her shorts, I wasn't expecting to like them so much, but they're actually like really cute. They're just this like plasticky like pleather material. Actually, it's not even that plasticky. Like it's actually like a pretty nice pleather. Um, it might peel over time, but right now it looks good. And then the actual pattern, like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it they're like hot pink and they just have this like 
white and purple almost like floral pattern I want to call it I don't know but it's cute and they're like very high-waisted and then they're cuffed with this like ruffle to them and that's also like a pleathery material so cute and then these shoes really stole the show for me so they're just these boots or I guess they're more of like a gladiator sandal that like goes up and they're strappy and they have these like pink hearts there in front and they're platforms, the platforms themselves being purple, which I love purple as an accent color on Draculaura. I, pink and purple are my favorites. So of course I'm gonna love that. And then down here, there's like a molded on chain detail, which I wish was painted, but I don't really expect it to be. And then they have like the little bat wing detail, which is so cute in there. The actual like shoe part that goes on her foot almost looks like a Mary Jane style. But then it goes up into like oh, this like stri oh they're so cute though i love them and i didn't point this out but the actual platform part has like bats molded in love that and then the little sole is just cobwebs very adorable <laughs> okay so now that we've taken a look at draculaura let's start getting out her extra pieces and for Draculaura, her little paper bags are just like a hot pink and they have the Skultimate Secrets question mark, but then they also have her little bat heart with fangs and wings. So cute. So the first thing we have is this little extra top. It's just like another tank top style, but it's like actually goes up on the neck and it has like this little lace collar, which is so cute. And then it has this little like lacy like cobweb design very pretty the next piece she comes with is this little like shoulder like jacket like a jacket like a vest i don't know but it's so cute um and it has like little poof sleeves this part is like a pleather and then this is just like a regular like cottony material same with the sleeves which are or like the yeah i don't know what you call this like the cuff which is like black I don't know, I love this. It's giving very like Dawn of the Dance Frankie. And then the other clothing piece she comes with is just her black little skirt, which matches her top um, from her first outfit, which I'm so excited about. I love the matching sets that they do. So I'm very excited to put her in this and it just has like the little purple bow. I almost forgot to mention that her other key was in that bag too, but whatever. Okay, so this next bag just had some of her accessories. The first one being her little earrings, which are so cute. They're just like a pastel purple. They have a skullette on the actual stud part and the dangly part is just hearts and beads that go down into the little bat heart, which is so cute. I love these. The next thing in this bag is her necklace, which I'm obsessed with this. The mold is so intricate. At first glance, it almost looks like rosary beads, which is so sick. These are so cool. So the neck part is like pearls almost. That's like a little like bat heart. And then it, like I can't even tell what that is. Like, I don't know, it just like, it goes down into like this like cobweb pattern with like whatever that is, but I don't know, it, it's so cute though. And then the last thing in this bag besides her extra key is her hat, which is so cute. It's just like a beret with a cobweb design and it has this little black bow on it with the heart in the middle. So cute. And it actually has like this little slit at the back to help it fit, which is so simple, but so smart. Thank you, whoever made this decision. <laughs> okay, and then in this bag, besides our extra, like besides our other key, we got our key ring thing, which, cool, it's there. <laughs> and then we got our other pair of shoes, which are also amazing. Let me put that one down. Um, Like, I don't even know where to begin with these. The heel is this like glossy black and it has that like black cobweb heart that's so pretty. Um, let's get the bottom out of the way. Just like a black cobweb heart, but still cute. Oh my gosh, like the huge, oh my gosh. The little like heart hole, that is adorable. 
and then there's the bow there the front is a bat which is so sick and then they're just like strappy up here two more little heart holes and yeah i'm actually obsessed with these like these are so cute <laughs> Okay, and then in that last bag, we just have her little snack accessories. The first one being just this little boba drink that we've seen before in a different color, but it's still so cute. It has that same pattern as her top and her other skirt, the little heart with fangs, and you can see like the little pearls down there. So cute. And then this is also a mold we've seen before. It's been used for like Claudine's Howl Puffs, Gulia's Brain Puffs, um, I think one of Laguna's accessories, like her kelp crisps or whatever, but it works well here. It's just like a little bag of candy and this is the cutest thing ever. What? Oh my God. They keep giving Dracula the cutest food accessories. Like this one, the next one, and then her budget doll that comes with the strawberry milk. Oh my God. <laughs> And then the last little food accessory she comes with is just this little box of cookies. This is the cutest thing ever. And here, like on it, like it has like her like G1 skelet that is so cute. You can't see, but whatever. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna go get Draculaura dressed up in her extra outfit pieces um, and then we'll close out this review. I'll be right back. Okay, and then here she is in what you could consider the second outfit. So her cute little hat, the earrings, the necklace, and then the actual like outfit. I don't know, it's really cute, but I do kind of have like the same issue with her that I mentioned in my Claudine review, which is just that despite all of these being really good pieces, a lot of them just aren't really cohesive with each other and she's not as bad as Claudine, but it's still definitely obvious. And like, I know they don't necessarily have to be like super cohesive because like, that's the point of a mix and match doll is to mix and match to something that like you like more. But I feel like the pieces should be more cohesive. Like these, these are very clearly like, two different sets. Like this shirt, and these shorts have the same pattern. There's like the two piece set. Like it's two, very clearly just two different outfits. They're like, here, you can mix and match these, but they're technically two different outfits that we then already mix and matched with the outfit, like the pieces that don't match, you know, like it doesn't really make sense to me, but like I said, it's a mix and match doll. So I get it. Um. So yeah, now that we've taken a look at everything, I am gonna go change her into what I'm gonna personally display her in and then we'll do our goodbyes. Okay, so this is what I ended up going with for now. Um, as much as I love those shorts, I'm just kind of like a sucker for the Skultimate Secrets dolls in their matching sets, you know? Like, I can't explain it. Like, you can see Claudine is in hers too. And although I don't like this skirt, as much as these shorts, if I wanted to put the extra outfit pieces on a different doll, I'd find it kind of weird to have like one doll wearing a shirt with this fabric and then a different doll wearing this like a skirt with the same fabric, you know, like, I don't know. So that's why I like pairing them as a matching set. I just think it's cute. And I ended up going with these shoes just because I was so shocked by how much I love them. So yeah. Um... That's gonna be all for this video. Sorry if it was like a little bit different. I haven't filmed like much in the past couple weeks. So yeah, I'm also, I'm so tired. Like I've just been working so much, but that's besides the point. Um, So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this doll in the comments. Who are you most excited to get in Skultimate Secrets? Do you have any of the Skultimate Secrets dolls? let me know. Um, so yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye!